Hello friends, today's session is on how to add your own SSH key to a Google Cloud Platform Linux virtual machine. And these are the steps, the high level steps that we are going to follow. First, we are going to create our own test instance. And of course, then we are going to create our own SSH key using PuttyGen. We're going to modify our instance and incorporate that SSH key to that, that instance in the GCP and then we're going to ensure the relevant firewall rules are open and then we are going to use a third party SSH client whatever you please to connect to your Linux instance. I prefer Putty. So my first step is that I log into the Google Cloud Platform console. I hope you all have seen the console and you're familiar with it and the first step I'll do is I'll click on the options menu on the top left. I'll scroll down to the compute engine option and I will select VM instances we're going to begin with creating our own VM instance. Um, I'm going to click this button create in the blue here. And uh, I'm going to name it as my first instance. Notice that Google Cloud only takes small case characters as the name of the instance. So if you try to give it a higher case, it will throw an error. So we are going to name it as my first instance. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these options, but I'm going to tell you that I'm creating this instance in the US Central. Uh, I've selected 1A as the availability zone. And um, I'm going to change the boot disk to Red Hat since I'm comfortable with the Red Hat option. I'm going to show you this one thing here. We're not going to use it. I'm going to scroll down in this option with management, security, disks, networking, and sole tenancy. In the security option, there's an option to add your SSH key. So note this one important thing that you can add your SSH key while creation of the instance as well. But since we have an option, the Google provides us an option to add the SSH key later on as well. We're going to do just that. Now I'll click on create here. Normally, I would pause the video and wait for the instance to be created. But especially in Google Cloud, the instance hardly takes less than 10 seconds to get created. So I'm just gonna refresh it a couple of times and the instance will show as ready. So it's all, it already is, it has been assigned an external IP. So the one way to connect to this instance is from here directly, where uh, Google Cloud provides us the SSH console and it takes care of all the keys. It transfers the keys to that in instance and then we have an access, but our challenge is that we want to control the access. We want to have our own key attached to the instance. So next step is we create the key. We will use PuttyGen, which looks like this. I hope you all have seen this. If you haven't, it's quite easy. So you use PuttyGen to uh, create a new SSH key pair. You select RSA here because that's the kind of key that Google Cloud Instance recognizes. You click on generate. Then you randomly move your mouse cursor here and it generates a key pair. So it's that quick. Now you copy your entire public key and you go to your instance detail page and you click on edit on the top of your instances detail page. You slowly scroll all the way down and you see a section named as SSH keys and there's an option called show and edit. You pull it right down and you paste your SSH key that you have just created in the RSA format here. So it recognizes the last few characters as the username for your SSH key. So here you can modify username. I'm just going to write Ashish Jain as the username. So you notice that the username is changed here as well. And then you click on save it is a very quick process and it takes no time to add this ssh key to the instance so this is one authentication me method that has been added to your instance now we are going to ensure that the ssh port 22 is open in the firewall rules of our instance and it's not very difficult again uh, you go to the detail page of your instance <clears throat> and uh, okay let's 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 go back 
<laughs> Let's try to connect using the Google Cloud console itself first. If we're able to connect here, the SSH port is already open. So if you notice, we are able to use the Google Cloud shell to connect to the instance. That means the SSH rule or the port 22 is accepting traffic on this server. Another way to check that the firewall rules allow port 22 to access to the machine is just click on the three dots here, which is the more options menu and click on view network details. It will take me to the firewall rules of this particular network interface. If you see here, there's a rule added default allow SSH, which allows all SSH traffic from everywhere. So our third point, which is to ensure SSH port 22 is open in firewall rules for your instance is satisfied. Now, the last step for me is to check if my SSH key is working and gives me access to the server. It's simple. I use the SSH1 RSA format uh, and I save the private key of this key pair that I have created. I name is I name it as my new key. So I have a physical PPK file of the key pair that I have created. Now I just use the external IP to connect to the server. I use putty and I give the host name as the IP address that I have created. Then I go to SSH auth and then I select the private key file corresponding to the RSA key pair that I have created. Remember I named it as my new key. So I'll select the my new key here in the auth option under the SSH section. I will recheck if my public IP is fine and then I click on open. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so it says that it is trying to add the token or the key fingerprint to the server and yes, I want to do this. So I will select yes. Notice that if you see a login here, it does not mean your key has been accepted, but it does mean that this server is accepting SSH traffic, traffic on port 22. So I'm just gonna give it the username that I created using this key while I was adding this key to the server, which was Ashish Jain and I hit enter. So this is the way I'll know that my key has been accepted just because now I can see that my server is accessible. So, Thank you friends for your time. See you in the next video.